Hello and welcome to National Focus for Tuesday, May 7, 2024. I am Julian Morris. The headlines. Small business in Portsmouth happy about the economic impact of the 13th edition of Jazz and Creole. Government remains committed to the country's sustainable development. And the Ministry of Tourism recognizes CEO of DDA Colin Piper. The details of the headline stories and more when we return. Welcome back. Prime Minister the Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt says government remains committed to the sustainable development of Dominica and its citizens. This can be seen in the variety of investments being made in tourism, infrastructure and other viable sectors. With the um, direct flight from the United States and of course with the extension of the Douglas Charles, we will see even increased opportunities. I mean, today we had a discussion with the new owners of L'Express de Zille. They have indicated to me and the, the government that they, are, they have already acquired a bigger, bigger um, um, ferry um, and they intend to invest even more in, in bigger vessels, which means that um, we will be able to transport uh, more people into Dominica from Europe and from um, the Caribbean. And of course with the construction of the international airport. And this is what we're doing. And this is why we're trying to increase the number of attractions in Dominica. He says these investments will create sustainable jobs for citizens which will contribute to the sustainable development of the country. To offer the tourists more um, than just the, the, the nature walk and the, and, and the snorkel and so on so that you have a greater variety, you have a greater offering. Um, and I think once we can have all those major investments in place and by 2025 we can have this place open uh, to to um, guess um, certainly is going to have a huge impact and, and this is what we've been trying to use the CBI funds for, um, to create sustainable projects, to finance sustainable projects and thereby um, create sustainable jobs. Um, this hotel is going to create sustainable jobs, it's going to create permanent jobs um, for, 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 for lots of Dominicans and so forth on various levels and skill sets. He noted that the revenue that these projects bring into the country is important for the development of citizens and the country. It's going to be huge. Uh, I think this property easily you're going to have, you're going to need um, about 100 people permanently employed um, to provide the services to the guests um, when this property opens. So, so you're talking about 100 people who possibly will be employed in that property. There. And from the government standpoint, this is where you're going to be getting more sustainable revenues because more people come in more consumption more consumption means more VAT revenue more VAT revenue means we can take care of ourselves um, much better than we have been we're able to do now and this is why we're saying it's important Prime Minister Skerritt added that the variety of investments is critical to broaden the country's income so even when people speak about oh why well, you know the government may be owing this from that person yes because yeah, it's a temporary circumstance, but these projects, uh, the, the hotel here in Tranquility, the other um, tourism projects, the, the hotel, the other facilities that we're doing in the infrastructure, these are sustainable projects um, which, will, which will bring in the kind of revenues that the country needs because we have to broaden the revenue push option. And because you cannot tax the resident population um, to the extent that you need to tax them, you have to now bring people in to consume so that they themselves also help in paying taxes. The 13th edition of Jazz and Creole is estimated to have been a success. The event which took place at Fort Shirley at Cabritz in Portsmouth over the weekend was well attended, bringing together a lineup of local and foreign jazz artists. Jazz and Creole features not only jazz music but Creole food and culture. 
The fringe events were especially memorable this year. The festival has grown over the last 13 years, benefiting a number of sectors in the north and the wider country. Small business owners in Portsmouth are among those who have benefited from last weekend's event. It was our first time, but I will say the turnout was very good. And it was great, it was tiring, but it was a hustling, but it was great. It was a great experience, I must say, and we, will, we look forward to do it again. Because I think it's a great opportunity for people with small businesses. They can grow in all aspects it have. I believe it's a great thing, though, to put your products and marketing out there. I think it's good. It was very good. It was exciting. We had a lot of sales. It was great. I must say that. I must say it was great. With all the little fringe events they had, the little warm-up and everything, to, to reach to the end of the jazz day, it was very, very, very good. And as a small entrepreneur starting a small business, I just started a small business since less than a year now. I think that day, yesterday, at the, at the breakfast village, it was great, great, great. I must say thanks to the organizers. It was well organized and it was also well attended. We need to say thanks to the people who supported and it was very good. It was first impression, so we was kind of, we wasn't sure what to do because it's the first time you're going to do it. Not sure on the cooking, but sure on the amount because you don't know how many people would be there. But I tell you, oh yes, it was overwhelming. So one of the things you, get to, you got to do was uh, attend the jazz festival? Oh yes, I came specifically at this time. To, to make sure that I went to the jazz festival. I like music, so I like to base my travels on either a national holiday or a music event. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Tourism has expressed its appreciation to Mr. Colin Piper, the former CEO and Director of Tourism, for his dedicated service of 15 years to the sector. Mr. Piper bid farewell to the team last week and was honored with a portrait and commendations during the 13th staging of the Jazz and Creole Festival on Sunday. On behalf of the Ministry of Tourism, the Board of Discover Dominica, and you, the patrons, and the tourism community, Mr. Piper, over the last 15 years, have contributed immensely to tourism and also on all the events over the years. And tonight, we want to make a token of our appreciation to Mr. Piper for all of the years of service, dedicated service to the Ministry of Tourism and also to Dominica. And so we want to make that contribution tonight to Mr. Colin Piper. Piper has been dedicated to promoting Dominica as the destination of choice. He has also played a key role in steering the tourism sector through major challenges, including natural disasters and global crises such as the COVID-19 pandemic. You are watching National Focus. More when we return. Welcome back. As Dominica observes local government month throughout May, village councils are being urged to prepare to face new challenges and to take advantage of new opportunities to help in the development of the communities that they serve. Local government month is being observed under the theme, local government maximizing opportunities for community transformation. 
In our experience in Dominica, we see that while local government has been key to decentralizing essential public services, promoting democracy, fostering active community leadership and community participation, and resolving many community problems, we must be prepared to meet new challenges with new approaches and take full advantage of emerging opportunities. Minister Roberts stated that the goal is to ensure that every council is maximizing the opportunities available in every sector. Some councils are ahead of others, but it is our aim to have all 42 local authorities in Dominica functioning at their optimum in sector areas to include community tourism, agriculture, disaster management, social protection, community infrastructure, and health and social care. Councils must work in collaboration with central government in also ensuring resilient housing, enhanced sanitation, beautification, the promotion of healthy lifestyles. Improved community infrastructure, particularly related to drainage and edge stabilization, as we seek to reduce the risk of hazardous impacts on our citizens. The minister went on to say that councils must involve themselves in schools and other community organizations as this shows signs of leadership. I believe also that it demonstrates excellent community leadership when our councils get involved with schools and promote and support the school's programs and activities. This, in my view, is a more holistic approach in building community cohesion and that collective consciousness that we have been speaking of. Community leaders must take some ownership of our community institutions and assets and take action to care and preserve them for generations. Minister Roberts then commended the village councils who have uh, taken initiative to help protect the communities and residents. I applaud some of the councils who embrace opportunities through projects and initiatives, whether it is working with the Office of Disaster Management or the Dominica Association of Local Community Authorities, DALCA, for safer shelters. Some of you have worked with and received support from the Basic Needs Trust Fund, BNTF, or other agencies to improve the provision of portable water or for enhanced road safety, reducing the risk of flooding or to address other climate related risks. And all of this is commendable. Chairman of the Mont Jean River Civic Village Council, Ms. Danielle Coffey, says there must be unity between residents and the village council. Coffey was sworn in as the new chairman of the Mont Jean River Civic Village Council, alongside seven others at the 20th inaugural meeting of the council. We have a local festival that brings people together, fostering friendships and creating long-lasting memories. These aren't just about fun. They're about building a stronger community. People of Monjon, people of Rivier Sirik, your support, whether through volunteering or maybe even a small donation, fuels this unity. For every contribution, no matter how modest, it carries a ripple effect, touching lives in ways that we can't even imagine. So today, I invite you to throw in your hat and just join us on our venture in local government and developing our community. She says there is need for collaboration among all parties involved if they are to achieve great things in the communities they represent. Proverbs 27, verse 17 states, Father, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Together, Monjon and Rivia Sirik, we can achieve great things by being irons that keep each other sharp. Thank you once again for your trust and confidence in me. Thank you for your confidence and support of this new council. Let us work together to build a brighter future for Monjon and Rivier Sirik. The other members of the Monjon and Rivier Sirik Village Council include Vice Chair Diane Pascal Lawrence, Philip Langford, Gemma Pascal, Augustine Polidor, Endura Stevenson, and Burnett Cadet.
Coming up next, the Creole News Highlights with General Jacob. Bienvenue à ce nouvel Creole, nom de General Jacob. Miss Tourism a célébré mois Tourism en mai. Fois la c'est Tourism, c'est ça fait tout le monde, on a un on, fait bien nous. Il est important pour nous tous de participer et de supporter la promotion de l'industrie touriste. En mois mai, le ministre du Tourisme n'a autant d'activité. Il a promouvoir diverses contributions au business en secteur du tourisme. L'activité de Jazz and Creole, il a lancé Station, Hike Fest, Cérémonie pour Award de Tourisme, aussi il a nettoyé les plages en différentes communautés. Il a aussi visité l'école. Donc, il a tapé autre recognition dans la terre. Quand un pays naturel et puis un premier destination touriste. Premier ministre Dominique Honorable Roosevelt Scarlett dit gouvernement ni commitment pour le développement Dominique et puis mon Dominique. Gouvernement qu'a fait et puis j'a fait autant investissement sur ce thème en tourisme, en bâti maison et puis différents secteurs. Honorable Roosevelt Scarlett dit investissement gouvernement qu'a fait mettez job pour mon Dominique. Honorable Scarlett fait parler de cela. Pendant un tour Tranquility Hotel semaine passée, il dit l'argent pour j'ai qu'amené important pour le développement Dominique et puis mon Dominique. Chairman Council Village Montjoin et puis River Cyric, Mme Daniel Coffey, qui a créé pour l'unité entre mon Council et puis Councilor. Mme Coffey, on a tué Chairman Council Montjoin et puis River Cyric semaine passée. Cette d'autres officiers ont tué en 20 meetings d'inauguration au Conseil. Chairman Lan dit une unité importante pour le développement pour place. Si les autres conseillers là, c'est Ma Denian, Dian, ça c'est Pascal Lawrence, Vice Chairman, Philippe Langford, Gemma Pascal, Augustine Polido, Indira Stevenson et puis Bonnet Cadet. Quand Dominique a observé moi, gouvernement local en mois mai, gouvernement a commandé conseil pour prendre avantage d'opportunités pour gommer les challenges neuf. Il y a autant d'opportunités qu'on se servi pour développer le village. Fois là, pour moi, ça là, c'est le local gouvernement, le gouvernement local, le local gouvernement, maximiser les opportunités pour la communauté de transformation. Le gouvernement local a servi d'opportunités pour la transformation de la communauté. Honorable Greta Roberts, ministère pour le gouvernement local, le développement local, a commandé tout conseillers pour servir opportunité à Vélab. Ça, c'est tout à ce nouvel encoyole. Non, M. Geno Jacob, au revoir. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. Be sure to follow GIS Dominica on Facebook, YouTube, and on Twitter. You can also drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm. From all of us here on the GIS News Production Team, I am Julian Morris. Thanks for watching.